this beautiful city, Jerusalem, the capital of Israel and the Jewish people since King David established the throne, or his throne. And look at the beautiful country and you'll understand my point. It's one of the most multifaceted society or place in the world. My wife comes from Finland. My neighbors from Ethiopia, Iraq, Syria, and the former Soviet Republic were all Jews. <coughs> we defy the simple description. And if you went through my cell phone, you'll find my contacts as Muhammad, Abdullah, and Isa, which is Jesus in Arabic. But the enemies of Israel taught me differently, just as um, Mr. Itamar Marcus and Dr. Murad Hakidar mentioned in their remarks earlier. They taught me from my young age that Jews have no connection to this land. And Israel is a racist colonial project set up by Western imperialists and supported by America, the great Satan, to divide the Ottoman Caliphate so there would never be an Islamic Caliphate again, or an Islamic Empire again, sorry. My mother, Kariman, was born a daughter of a Jewish woman from Jerusalem who eloped with a Jordanian soldier, Muhammad al-Masri, and ran away to Nablus. My father, Jamal Halawa, born in Beit Shean in 1945, told me how Arab radio broadcasts urged all the Arabs of British Palestine to clear out immediately to make room for the great slaughter that would be carried out, promising them they would come back and seize the properties of slaughtered Jews in a matter of days. So they left and ended up refugees in camps in Jordan, in Syria, and in Lebanon, I'm sure you've heard. The United Nations has two refugee agencies. One of them is called UNHCR, and the other one is UNRWA, however you want to pronounce it, UNRWA. The UN High Commissioner for Refugees covers all of the refugees in the world, with the aim of reducing the number of displaced people through resettlement and integration. Then you have UNRWA, which does the opposite. Its mission is keeping people refugees indefinitely increased in their numbers. People are, like ourselves, were getting settled in Jordan. My father received Jordanian passport and full citizenship rights. But UN bureaucrats and UNRWA and the so-called PLO bamboozled the world, turning us into perpetual refugees. Instead of resettling, UNRWA created six million of us today, paying the PLO, otherwise known as the Palestinian Authority, and several hundred dollars a month on behalf of myself and about six million people, while UNHCR struggles to find funds and shelter to feed real refugees. We have to end this sham and now. What I propose, there are close to 400 million people living in the Middle East and North Africa, 60% of which are of the age of 35 and under, and no longer exclusively under, they are no longer exclusively under the sway of political and religious agendas, which I was brought up on as a child. In 2007, I created a U.S. nonprofit with the aim of reaching out to young Arab speakers throughout the internet, through Facebook, YouTube, Twitter. I'm asking for everybody to get together and help, to create a social revolution, to liberate the next generation of the Middle East, to recognize the plurality of life, and live democratic values represented by free and great countries such as Israel and the United States of America. Thank you. Thank you very much.